Hi traders and best wishes for a happy new year and a successful trading year ahead. I'm Ken Calhoun, president of TradeMastery.com with the trading channel that's designed to help you make bigger winners more often. We're going to take a look at Bitcoin related stocks in this video coming right up. You know, with the meteoric rise in Bitcoin related instruments and Bitcoin itself crashing and burning the last couple of weeks, we got to say there's a lot of volatility and there's trading opportunities out there, both the profit opportunities and a lot of risk. Now, personally, I'm a stock trader and I only trade things that I know how to trade, which is stocks. That's what I do. Uh, I'm not going to trade the Bitcoin related instruments themselves. I'm not going to trade Bitcoin because I'm not familiar with wallets and miners and blockchain and all that kind of stuff. But I am looking to trade instruments uh, like Riot, Overstock, Square and others that have moved up sharply and pulled back recently uh, in volatility uh, with the Bitcoin market itself. One thing that you'll be learning about in the Bitcoin's Bonanza training is how to look for specific breakout patterns and more importantly the timing for entries and exits and specific visual pattern recognition skills you need to capitalize on the stocks related to the move in Bitcoin. This has nothing nothing whatsoever to do with trading Bitcoin itself. Uh, I don't trade Bitcoin. I'm not familiar with how Bitcoin wallets work and I have no desire to trade things that I don't have a distinct advantage in. You know, as a trader, you always want to trade when you have an edge which means you got an advantage based on pattern recognition and timing and trade management, volatility, risk management standpoint. So I'm a stock trader, that's what I do. So what I want to teach you about in the Bitcoin's uh, Bonanza training is exactly what patterns to look for in the Bitcoin related stocks that are moving in sympathy with volatility uh, of Bitcoin. Like I said, Overstock, Square uh, and Riot are three favorites. Uh, there's many more that you'll be learning about. Take a look at this upcoming video. It's a highlight of a, it's a few minutes of highlight excerpts taken from a webinar I recently did that explains some of the patterns. Take a look at the volatility in the patterns and mentally do the math. See how much money you could have made or lost had you been on the right side of the trades. And that's what you'll be learning about in the training. So hello and welcome traders to our Bitcoin's Bonanza session tonight. This is a special preview event. I'm Ken Calhoun, your host president of the original Trade Mastery and Day Trading University with our trading Bitcoin related stock breakouts coverage in tonight's preview event. In fact, I like the fact that we had a pullback in Bitcoin or reversal the last week or so because I don't like to chase stocks. I like to trade on breakouts after it's been tested by sellers. So we've seen plenty of sell pressure lately. Let's see if and when the buyers come back in stuff. So what you're going to learn tonight, how to trade Bitcoin related stocks, risk and reward P&L potential, how to swing trade with entries and exits, and as always, a focus on practical trading strategies that are actionable based on what I've learned, a real money trader that hopefully you can benefit from as well. So the first thing as always is to take a look at some of the charts on a longer term basis. What I want you to look for is not only the volatility, but the directional trend strength, directional volatility in these things. So Hive is one that had a good directional continuous run up from 370 to 650. So you may have a channeling approach. You may have a directional trend approach, a good professional trading approach that I like to use because I can position size and scale more easily with charts like this one, Hive. A trader had asked me about this one. One of my traders from Canada had asked me about this one. This guy ran again from 370 to 650. So it's almost but not quite doubled. But a really good directional trend trade may make sense for this kind of chart. The nuances of how to do this, you know, are found in volatility. Now, typically, I do not like to buy within cut pattern recoveries, but with charts with this much strength and this much pattern directional move, they may make sense to go in with the first trigger and then a secondary trigger if they do resume their upwards price action. Now, using this chart pattern, where do you think I'm going to buy this? I had traded it on the way up. Uh, I want to retrade it on the way up again if it does resume its uptrend. Now, the first place at which professional traders are likely to buy this is somewhere over the 50 SMA line. This is the 50 simple moving average line. This is the 100. This is the 200. A classic unbroken 3 SMA sequence is still a good uptrend. Technically, big pitch on this chart. So we don't want to play it right here, but I'll be looking to buy this guy 
Again, not a trade recommendation, but I'll likely be buying at 38.50. The more important question is, how do we manage risk? What would be the initial stop loss value? Do we wait for it to get way down there or do we get out sooner? We've all been there and probably, if you're like me and so many of my thousands of traders, you probably have the battle scars to prove it, that holding too long is a key failure as a trader. And when it comes to trading these volatile Bitcoin related stocks, because of their volatility, a general rule of thumb is to hold them for shorter time durations than you would a normal you know, swing trading stock or ETF play. And I'll teach you the differences and it's some very important strategic changes like how to exit earlier uh, and how to manage breakout entries on high volatility charts a more professional way in the upcoming event that I've got for you lined up. So a small gap there, a medium gap here, and an even larger gap here. Do you see that large gap, the medium gap, and the small gap? As a professional trader, you need to be able to pay attention to this and know when you've got a large green candle at the right side of a cup pattern following a gap that makes sense to get in on. You know, my mantra is take the money and run, or when in doubt, get out, go to cash. You've got directional volatility up the yin yang in these, but how do you capitalize on it without getting burned, right? And so one of the things I want to teach you is some strategies that at least I've tested out in my own experience that can hopefully help you accomplish that. Again, you can order BitcoinsBonanza.com for training, an hour and a half of step-by-step -step training on how to capitalize on stock moves that are moving in sympathy with the Bitcoin phenomenon. Okay, and that'll do it for our Bitcoins Bonanza overview of the type of charts that you'll be learning about. For more, be sure to order now at www.bitcoinsbonanza.com, uh, B-I-T-C-O-I-N-S bonanza.com, or you can go to my trademastery.com site and locate that page within the site. But either way, I'm sure that you'll get a lot out of the training. What I do is very carefully go over the differences in breakout patterns, whether it's ascending triangles or cups or acceleration ramps or gap continuations. What's most important in trading the Bitcoin related stocks, at least I remember from my own experience, uh, recent experience is the time window tends to be shorter in duration for a swing trade. This is about swing trading Bitcoin related stocks. The time duration tends to be quicker and you have to get out sooner at the first sign of trouble. So you're not caught in something that's running up and then collapses right back down to support. How do you ride it on the way up and then walk out with profit intact? And those are the type of visual pattern recognition and trade management tips that we'll be learning about in the Bitcoin's Bonanza training. So hope to see you in the training. Be sure to register for, uh, for it and I will see you on the other side. So take care and best wishes for success in your trades. As always, remember, trade small, trade wide, not deep. Uh, go after trading bigger winners more often. Use tight risk management and best wishes for a successful trade in your head. We've got so much coming up. It's really exciting. Uh, as the company continues to expand, we've got uh, new joint venture partners, uh, new other educators, companies that we're working with in terms of our channel partners for business development, all new content, uh, and much more coming up uh, here on the channel too. So again, if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, uh, make sure to tell a friend and pass it along, and I'll see you in our next video. Take care and best wishes for a spectacular, amazing new trading year ahead in 2018. Goodbye. Great job, Ken. You were amazing. Hi, traders. We hope you like this trade mastery video with Ken. Go ahead and subscribe to Ken's YouTube channel and post your comment or question in the area below. Thanks for watching and good trading.